These videos are crafted for educational purposes, aiming to equip viewers with essential knowledge for the Pentest Plus exam. Each demonstration highlights the principles of ethical cybersecurity, providing valuable insights. We advocate for law-abiding practices that enhance the field of cybersecurity. Introduction to NetCat and Basic Syntax NetCat, often referred to as NC, is a command line utility used for reading from and writing to TCP, UDP, or Unix domain socket network connections. Its versatility has earned it the nickname Swiss Army Knife of hacking tools. NetCat's capabilities include creating or connecting to TCP servers, acting as a proxy or relay, transferring files, launching executables upon connection, performing port scans and testing services or daemons. NetCat works across most desktop platforms and has inspired derivatives like NCAT and Simple NetCat for Android. Basic Syntax NetCat uses the following syntax. NC options, target address, ports. Common options include NetCat option description. L starts NetCat in listen mode. Default is client mode. U starts NetCat in UDP mode. Default is TCP. P specifies the port to listen on in listen mode or the source port in client mode. E executes a program when a connection is established. N disables DNS lookups, does not resolve host names. V zero IO mode sends a packet without data payload used in port scanning. W and LT, seconds and GT, sets a timeout for connections. V, runs NetCat in verbose mode, displays more information. VV, runs in very verbose mode, provides even more detailed output. Key example, to start listening on port 4444 in listen mode and execute a program. NCL P4444, E slash bin slash bash. L, listen mode. P, port 4444. E, executes a bash shell upon connection. NetCat for remote access and execution. NetCat is commonly used in remote access scenarios to establish backdoor connections or interact with a remote system shell. One of the most important features is its ability to execute commands remotely using the E option. Establishing a reverse shell. A reverse shell allows a target system to connect back to the red team's machine, providing remote access. Command on the blue machine, NCL P4444 E slash bin slash bash L. Listen for incoming connections. P. Listen on port 4444 E slash bin slash bash. Open a bash shell when a connection is established. Command on the red machine, NC target IP 4444. This connects to the target's listening shell. The red team can then execute commands remotely. NetCat for file transfers. NetCat can also transfer files between systems by creating a simple connection. Example for transferring files. On the blue machine, NCL P1234 and GT received underscore file dot TXT. On the sending machine, NC receiver IP 1234 and LT file underscore to underscore send TXT. NetCat establishes a connection and streams the file directly to the other machine. Security considerations. NetCat does not use encryption, meaning any data, like files or shell commands, can be intercepted if the connection is monitored. What is the purpose of using the E option in a NetCat command? The E option executes a specified program, like a shell, as soon as the connection is made. This is the core of using NetCat for reverse shells or command execution. In a reverse shell scenario, which machine is using the L option, the red team or the blue? The blue team's machine listens using the L option, waiting for the red team to connect. This setup allows the red team to gain remote access once connected. Why is it risky to transfer sensitive files using NetCat without encryption? Since NetCat doesn't provide encryption, any data transmitted can be intercepted by attackers through packet sniffing or network monitoring. You fully understand the risk here. Lightbulb bonus tip, NCAT, an improved version of NetAt, addresses this by offering SSL encryption, making it more secure for sensitive data transfers.